What is the company he started? Facebook. Right answer. What is he wearing? Shirt. Oh, I was expecting something on the face. What is he wearing on the face? Sunglasses. Color of the sunglasses? Brown. Can you make a joke of it? Why did the sunglasses go to therapy? Because they had too much light exposure. I'm not sure if it is a joke, but this is a very impressive tiny model. The model name is Moon Dream 1. It is a tiny 1.6 billion parameter model. The model is a combination of multiple things which we will break down in this video. This new tiny model is called Moon Dream 1. This model at this point is only for research purpose. It's not available for commercial use. It's a multimodal model or a visual vision language model. The model is quite good in its performance when you compare it with other models of larger size. Despite being a 1.6 billion parameter model, you can see very well that this model has scored pretty decent on a lot of vision based benchmarks. For example, this model is better than Lava Phi, which is kind of the recipe for this model also. It uses SIGLIP, first of all. What is SIGLIP? SIGLIP stands for Sigmoid Loss for Language Image Pre-Training. SIGLIP proposes to replace the loss function used in CLIP by a simple pairwise sigmoid loss. And you can see that this particular change has made this model more efficient. In fact, it has made them tune the model with only four TPU chips, like the tensor processing unit. And you can see the model is also doing better on multiple benchmarks. So this model, Moon Dream 1, uses SIGLIP along with two other important components. One is Phi, the smaller model from Microsoft. The second one is it uses a LAVA training dataset. So as a combination of SIGLIP, Phi 1.5 and LAVA training dataset, this model does a pretty good job to be a very small vision language model, which means you can upload an image and ask this model any question that you want and the model would ultimately respond back to you. Let's take a quick look at some of the examples. First, this book is uploaded and asked what is the title of the book and it correctly answered the title of the book and not just that it correctly answered the title of the book, for the question that what is or where is the picture taken, so it rightly answers that it was taken on a balcony and then you ask what is the color of the train, it rightly goes on and answering what is the color of the train and the you might have noticed at this point that one, it says color of the train, then you are talking about bus. So there are certain nuances which it does not understand properly. But then again, like for the other questions, you could see the model doing a pretty good job of answering whatever the question has been asked. Now let's test the model with our own images. Let's go to the hugging face spaces and upload our own image. So for example, I recently lost a chess match and I wanted to upload that image and then ask what does it say? So I said, okay, this is the chess image. What is happening? I didn't even give the description of chess and the model went on using the image and then answering the image displays a chess board with a timer and a red crown on it. So the timer is showing that the time remaining in the game while the crown is located on the top left side of the board. There are several pieces on the board including a king, queen and a knight. First of all, there is no knight and then it goes on to say that the king is in the center but ultimately when I followed up with this, who is winning, it gave me the right answer of white. From this, you would have already understood that while it did a good job of most of the objects on the picture, it still made a slight hallucination or an error by saying there was a knight while there was no knight on there. Let's try with another image that I recently used for one of my thumbnails. So this is, I tried to create a Mark Zuckerberg as I think like his pattern or something with OpenAGI. I said, explain this image to me. And then it went on and saying the image features a man with a red scarf and uh, he's standing in front of a sign which says OAGI underneath. And it goes on and giving me a lot of information about it. So for the same image, last time when I tried, it said uh, this is an image of a man like a Roman emperor, a Roman warrior, but this time it did not do that. So as you know that this is also, you know, going with uh, like certain uh, instability in how it responds back. It could be also hyperparameter tuning. I might be able to tune the parameter and get the answer. But when then I ask like who, who does it resemble to, then it actually goes on answering quite, you know, accurately like this is like Mark. And then when I exactly ask for the name of the person, then it actually goes on to say that this is Marcus Aurelius. Maybe that is where it, um, it kind of like gets confused with the Roman emperor and also the image that it has got. Then I thought let's use this for extracting the text, a typical OCR task. 
and it does not do a good job. It just says a, an open sign with a face on it. Maybe this is also to do with the prompting because when I change the prompting, it kind of uh, changes the way it responds. And simply because at the start it said there is a text AGI, but then when I ask specifically that is there a text on it, it doesn't give me the text on it. So I'm not sure like if it is an issue with my prompting skills or if it is an issue with uh, the model's stability about answering. But again, like I have to be considerate that this model is actually a very small model. And finally, I wanted to know like if it can make a joke about this model. And then it goes on to give me a joke that kind of is funny, but not necessarily exactly super funny. So the model's impressive ability to recognize Mark Zuckerberg gave me an idea to try with a different human. But this time, once again, this is an AI generated image of Jan Likun, a very popular AI researcher and scientist, and also like head of uh, Meta AI's research efforts, AI research efforts. And I asked it like, does it resemble like any researcher? It doesn't give me the right answer. It just like blabbers around. Like this ultimately comes back to what the model is about. I think this model is extremely good at recognizing objects. Like if you want uh, the model to do like a typical object segmentation or understand, not object segmentation, like understand what is in a picture. It does a pretty good job of understanding what is in the picture. But I think where the model might be lacking is not on the vision ability, but more around the language ability because it has seen less amount of data thanks to 5.1.5. .5. That probably could be a reason why this model does not have enough context or it cannot give you a lot of information about. But again, like I'm not going to use this. If I were to use this, I'm not going to use this model to recognize the face of a human being. Rather, I would just try to understand whether there is human being, if I want to understand a meme, or if I want to understand objects around me. So if this model is such a tiny model and still it can like, for example, understand that there is chessboard, understand screenshots, understand slight images, understand what kind of text is there in the picture, then I think it would do a pretty good job of setting a really good path of having smaller models that could probably run on edge devices or any kind of devices, because this model could be very well used for live inference. So you could have a webcam with a feed and then this could be feeding into that feed so that every frame is captured and you can like literally in life, you can get a commentary of how this um, something is happening in the feed. I would definitely try to even try this model for something like a sports commentary or something. So I think the potential is really good. I'm, I'm glad that this model exists, which will probably teach us more to build such small models based on smaller language models and also smaller vision data. And uh, I'm excited about what this might bring in terms of the vision language model. Even though this is not like a very high level, let's say multi-model model, I think still having a vision plus language model would give us really good uh, insight into what might happen in the future. Also, if you have got any use case for a small vision language model, please let me know in the comment section. The first thing that comes to my mind is probably to try with my Raspberry Pi. I'm definitely looking forward to play more with this model, either as a live feed or a Raspberry Pi content or something else that you might want to see. See you in another video. Happy prompting.